Hi guys and welcome back to the Mauer Brothers. We are going to be showing you the most exclusive mansion Marbella currently has for sale. In order to get there, we're going to be taking this helicopter. Let's go! Ladies and gentlemen, the helicopter left. That was an adventure. Holy moly. I enjoyed it. It was crazy. And I hope you got to see Marbella and Costa del Sol from a perspective yet not seen, as well as this gorgeous house we're about to tour. So smash that like button, give us thumbs up, subscribe, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the private drive-in with, as you have seen, a helicopter landing pit. Just there we have a carport garage for three cars, another carport just over there, the main entry right up front, a lot to discover, just over 2,600 square meters of land, over 1,400 square meters of interior build, eight bedrooms, architecture, Diego Tobal, fantastic, overlapping linear concrete, just there we have aluminum and limestone cladding, this home is modern, contemporary. The style and design inside is so consolidated and neat. I'm excited. Let's start the tour. Come on. Now, of course, the main entry also leads you. I'm going to close this real quick. To the garage. So if you park your car, you can also take these stepping stones into the main entry of the house. But you already get to see we've got this really nicely laid out front side of the house. This is the main entry with the cantilevered roof line, the aluminium slabs and this humongous door to enter into the house. Let's go. Big door leading into a big house, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. This is the entry for you. We have eight bedrooms, three above, two on this level and three further ones below. But let's talk about what we see here. Already an indication of style and design. We have this entire granite clad that goes all the way up to the top of the ceiling. We got dappled light there as well, the light play of the swimming pool, beautiful chandeliers dangling down, book matched paintings here, low chair to sit down on, and of course a lot of cupboards here. I just want to point out the thickness of the doors, the hidden hinges, and of course paneled in continuation up until the top with the same style and design so it looks like a unity and yes i'm sorry to say gorgeous views outwards to the sea and you can see i'm super illuminated now ladies and gentlemen the west wing here has a kitchen dirty kitchen let's explore that first before we move on further pocket door and off we go wow <laughs> i love this kitchen this is a space to reckon with this is basically a living room sized kitchen, if not even that. This is like a house sized kitchen. Modul Nova have done it custom made. It's a company from Italy for this house and it's just a gorgeous designer piece. Let's start off with this massive kitchen island. Gaggenau appliances, of course here the gas cooker, the induction extractor nicely inbuilt, a grill above us, an elegant intertwining chandelier. 
On this side, of course, the continuation of a countertop, two sinks, open shelving, and nicely hidden, let me just point out, are the Gaggenau appliances, such as here. And if you follow me, Patrick, we're gonna go all the way to the end of the kitchen. You could basically do sports here, that's how big it is. We have nicely hidden more appliances. Now, to continue, if you turn the camera around, I would like to point out these turning knobs from Gaggenau are simply fur dinkum. They're heavy and every time you twist them, they click and it's just a nice little organoleptic element. Here, soft close is present, of course. We've got Gaggenau dishwasher nicely inbuilt with the same stone on top and everything just opens and closes automatically. Now this entire area here is your Gaggenau fridge and freezer and I just love it. Look how big this is, right? And the same here, we have got the freezer, which is a freezer, I'm not gonna fully open it, but you get the idea and of course, you've got the same paneling on top of it. Now, Patrick, what should we show our dear viewers who haven't yet subscribed, so please do next. Dirty kitchen. The dirty kitchen. Now you wouldn't expect it, I'm just gonna close this because I want to point out the fact that the paneling here continues. So you kind of don't know what's here. But before we do, we also have a wine fridge here. Of course, it's the standard. Here we have the dirty kitchen. All right, so for reference points, this door is the third entry into the house. So if you have staff, they can park the cars here walk into the dirty kitchen or chef's kitchen and then to the main kitchen or take the staircase there down to the stuff apartment, the laundry room and basically back into the house through the gym. So smartly put, you have the three entrances and this one is the most discreet one. Let's continue the tour and go back inside. And voila, it's hidden once again. Now, fun fact, on this countertop where this big foot is standing, I would like to point out that the countertop has been custom made and created by Modul Nova to also be a cutting board. So you can put your meat here, your breads, you can literally just cut anything you want on it. And we have more storage space, also cladded with the same natural stone as the countertop there in direct lighting and a solid piece and of course, your bar area and stools just there. Now focus onto the dinner table. Once again, elegant in style and design, 10 seats with roche bourbois chandelier lamps dangling down. What a space to enjoy. Eat here, cook there, or sit here and enjoy the fire, watch some movies, the backdrop with natural stone clad as well. Open shelving there with indirect, indirect lighting slots nicely inbuilt and wallpaper feature in the back. And best of all, the entire front here is glass. You have glass lighting windows and doors that you can fully open up and basically have an outdoor kitchen experience. Let me show you what we find just outside. Perfect. Just so you know, you can actually open them up fully. These ones are not automatic like the ones in the living room, but I just wanted you to see what I mean in this also opens up so you literally have this entire space an open plan but I'm gonna close it because it's getting a little bit too windy to enjoy that feature we have here the outdoor dining table bench made wooden table basically they bought a massive chunk of tree and they've cut it and made this own dinner table which is pretty cool, innovative, if you think about it. And of course, your entire barbecue setup here, the beef eater grill, a sink, gorgeous open views when you cook, which is always a nice feature. The sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. We have a shower here and of course, also a shower toilet just there. 
Now let me show you the swimming pool area because it's also quite exquisite. So follow us. And of course, uh, this entire area, which is gorgeous. We have furniture that was originally from a company which makes yacht furniture at Timo laid out here. So they're really robust swimming pool as inviting as possible. And the cantilevered architectural roof line there with the concrete is just mind boggling. And you have more of these cantilevered aspects of the house here. Aluminium, concrete and limestone in the house. And glass. And glass, correct. There's also another bathtub here. It's called Jacuzzi or Whirlpool. Cool. Let's continue the tour and show you guys that living room, which enjoys the cantilevered roof line just now. Let's go. And of course, just to point out that we have a sound system entirely laid out by Sonos, not just here in the kitchen, but in the 1,450 square meters of livable area. And now from that side of the corridor, from the west all the way to the east, where the Fendi mirror is, is about 30 meters. So this house is big. Let's continue the tour that way to the living room. Now this staircase leads you to the first floor where we have three bedrooms. The west side exclusively to be used by the main bedroom and two further ones on the east side. Taking a staircase down, we come to a stunning indoor swimming pool spa area, a private cinema like we haven't yet seen on our channel, a billiard table, games room. It's just a lot to see, so hold your horses. Stay tuned till the end. Now, a quick shout out to this designer, which is the company, a French company, who have created this chandelier that literally goes from the ceiling all the way down and nearly touches the floor there. It's eight meters long and it is a designer piece. Hence uh, the company's name, Designer, and it just speaks for itself. I thought this was a stunning piece of art. Glass balustrades, wooden planked stairs up, and of course, domotic system throughout. I'm just gonna put the indirect lighting on here on the staircase as well. Wow. And now let's shift our attention to this area, which is your living room area. What a humongous living room area. We are close to four meters in ceiling height. The entire front glass enjoying of the panoramic views that you have. A piano freestanding here that you can play nice tunes on. If you have seen our chalet tours in France, I actually played a few tunes on the piano. Not gonna repeat it now. Here we have the lounge chill area. We have a lot of carpets laid out from an Italian company called Olivio Tapetti and of course a lot of designer elements throughout. But what I would love to point out, and that would be this, is the royal grey travertine clad that we have also nicely backsplashed on the wall here with indirect lighting. The detailing of that is insane. TV setup, fire pit, and of course turning your attention here to omnidirectional couches, massive coffee table in the middle, in the middle, it's always a funny word, in the middle, and wood clad with indirect lighting in the ceiling, and of course the continuation of the sound system. Now, before we move on to that area, how gorgeous is the millwork in this house, Patrick, with the indirect lighting? Very nice, I like it, and it really nicely corresponds to the ceiling as well. 100%. Because as you have noticed, there's no echo at all. Yeah. I mean, it took four years for this house to be finished from A to Z, and they have really went on consolidated style and design. The architecture, like I said, from Diego Tobal is phenomenal. And the developer who is an engineer himself really put his 40 years of experience into use to make sure this house is technically as amazing as it is, is visually. Wow, that's a lot said in a couple of words. <laughs> But let's continue to this little bar area that we find here. You're chilling on the couch and you feel like a cocktail. So you've got this really slick looking bar set up here with the natural stone countertop, the slats also paneled on to the wall, the open shelving here, indirect lighting, of course a wine fridge. Here we have space for an ice maker, cupboards, drawers, Everything you need is basically there to prepare a drink at ease. And uh, this mirror set up in the division of the squares reflecting that ambient light that the bar creates. Wow. Now, behind the pocket door here, 
Which doesn't look like a pocket door at all. Yes, yeah, quite frank. It's just like a wall. There's a lot of these kind like of... a dead corner. Yeah, hidden doors that you open and lead you to beautiful spaces. But behind this one, we have the office. Let's give it a good look. This masterpiece, I must call it, working desk is from an Italian brand called Angelo. And it's just stunning. And this is exactly what I mean. There are so many beautiful designer elements in this house that they didn't spare a penny anywhere. Now, back to this desk, you've got gorgeous sea views out to your garden. I can actually see the automatic and self-driven lawn mower just doing its work there. You see the sea, you get to look at your living room area. You've got a stunning place to work, TV setup. You've got these divisions on the wall with wallpaper, sconces just there as well. And of course, more storage places and glass lighting window that you can just fully open up. What I like is the bar so close. So whenever you're stressed, 100%. grab a drink. That's what I mean. The, the layout of this house is phenomenal. And I would like to point out, as I did at the beginning of the tour, that there are three entrances to the house. The main one we took, the one from the dirty kitchen, and then the one from the garage where you can bring your business partner literally straight to your office, do some business, have a drink, sit in the couch, relax, you know, the drill. Now, ah, Olivari doors, handles, soft clothes, hidden hinges, and just look at the size of the doors. Incredible. Let's continue. Now, I am at the end of the corridor, as I said, from the kitchen, from the west to the east. It's about 30 meters, so there's a lot of space. And this is what I would call the gallery sort of hallway. Nicely illuminated thanks to the glass lighting windows that we find here. We also have an olive tree nicely displayed outside. So you're looking at greenery, paintings, as I said, just here, and a lot of light fixtures that break up the light in a very elegant way. And that's scattered around the house, entirely natural floor, stone here. And of course, the elevator that connects the first floor, this floor, and the lowest level. And now, before we head on to show you the two bedrooms we have on this level, let's give the guest toilet a little bit of an appreciation. What a gorgeous guest bathroom. Axor tap here. We've seen them before, actually. They create this spiral there, and the water comes out so elegantly onto this one sink solid vanity that we have here. Nice light fixtures with a mirror effect indirect lighting in the slots just there, slats on the ceiling with indirect lighting, and a little area to, I don't know, put your baby in, <laughs> change the diapers, the toilet just there, and of course more natural stone throughout and isolating doors. Wow, that's just the guest toilet. Now, in the Fendi mirror, Fendi Casa, you will get to see my dear brother Patrick. We are the Mara brothers and we tour exceptional homes. And if you are interested in buying this one, as usual, the contact details of the person in charge are in the description box. Now, this way, we'll find more. Let's have a look. Now, this corridor here leads us to two bedrooms and a few storage rooms. We'll show that in a second. What I would like to show you is the garage, which of course is also present just there. So let's hop out. Spacious enough for two to three cars, of course. We got the stone clad, the exposed concrete, the track lighting to illuminate the space. All a very elegant setting for you to put one of your fancy cars into. Now, to continue, here we also have what they call the secret corner. And just out there, we have a jacuzzi with a nature wall. It's a very intimate and private location for you to enjoy the hot bath, the bubbly bubbly and the peace and tranquility. This is another example of a beautiful bonsai tree displayed in the, how do you call that, Patrick? Terrarium. In the terrarium? You would call it a terrarium? Yeah, because it's shut from all sides. But not from above. As so well. it's a patio. It's a terrarium. Terrarium patio. Anyways, in the steel terrarium. massive vase setup just up there. Now, there's a lot to see in this house. I would say we continue, but before we do, 
nice clamp there as well. Yeah, the, the door just disappears should, again. Would you like to open this? Uh, yes, we should open. Okay, let's. Oh yeah, let's open it because. Because. A, you ready? There's a lot of car ports as Go. well here. Look how fast it goes up as well. As I said, a lot of car ports, but hey, this thing opens up super fast, I just realized. Now, once again, big thank you to Bentley Marbella and Cedar Salamanca here for giving us once again a super beautiful car that fits into the home. This one is the Bentley GT Azure. It's a beast. We also have the landscaping that continues. We've got the exposed concrete wall there. Nice kind of giving you an urban industrial vibe in mix with the landscaping is stunning. And of course, there we have the further carport, the helicopter landing, which you have seen. If you haven't, don't forget to give us thumbs up. And yeah, a lot of space for you to park your cars wherever you need. Now let's continue to the bedrooms. By the way, you can also just quickly take the stepping stones to the main entry or from the main door right into your garage. It's nice to point that out. If you've forgotten where the door is. Yeah, sometimes it happens. If you close this, you barely can see it, to be honest. Just there we have a storage room for keys and jackets. And here we have the bedroom. So let's start off with this massive picture window that I mentioned in the garage that exposes the bonsai tree. Storage room, storage room, and bedroom number one of this tour. Let's look at it. Now every bedroom is spacious. Every bedroom has a ceiling height of close to three meters. This one, it's gorgeous style and design. As you can see, wallpapered, paneled, bed framing that extends all the way close to the end. These kind of cosmic uh, planet-like looking lamps dangling down are also quite exquisite, floating bedside tables and a lot of storage spaces here and there. It's even got some of my clothes in it. So a lot of space. What planet has the ring? Saturn. Good, Dominic. All right, we also have the pocket door here. That was a lucky guess. Do you want to show the pocket door? Yeah, show sure. it. I don't know, it's just so far. I don't know if the wide angle catches me. We have a pocket door that leads you into your ensuite bathroom. Of course, every bedroom has an ensuite bathroom. Polished travertine, if I'm not mistaken, extending entirely from the left to the right. One sink vanity setup. They went with the Axor Handsome Grower taps and th fittings throughout the entire house, which I'm very happy with because, you know, you gotta have the luxury top level taps and fittings. Of course, rain shower here, low niche for your shampoos, the same natural stone backsplash toilet, and that is basically it. I'm gonna close it again. <clears throat> this bedroom, by the way, also has an access point outwards, so you can run from here into your own swimming pool. Always the fact that I absolutely love. Should we talk about the baseboard here or later? Later. Later it is. Let's go. <laughs> Bedroom number two. I love this bedroom because of this entire wall. Now imagine instead of just keeping it simple and boring, they made it a piece of art. This entire wallpaper feature reminds me of a painting from Miro, a artist from Barcelona with the squirrely lines, the blue. It's just an amazing piece, wouldn't you I say? I think it's more the black, where with the black he emphasizes the, the main part of the picture. The splashes as well. I love it. And they've kind of also broken down uh, the size of it with the wooden panels, the indirect lighting just behind it. So it's not just a plain, boring wall. It's a piece of art. And I think that's amazing. That's what makes this home exceptional. We also got the light fixtures dangling down. As you can see, they're also very elegant and they're also designer pieces. Here we have a floating makeup desk, big mirror setup another wallpaper feature that corresponds to the color coding of the wooden panels floating bedside tables carpet laid out and just look at this massive wardrobe with thick doors hidden hinges even here indirect lighting wow so every bedroom on this level also has an access point out to its own little garden area 
And of course, if you walk that way, you come to the swimming pool. And this is the automatic grass lawn cutter I mentioned before. How cool is that? So it just drives itself, cuts the grass. You don't need to do it. This was bedroom number one we have seen. And just there, the outdoor lounge area, the cantilevered roof line of concrete, the aluminum beams holding the structure together, architectural elements, which are amazing to look at. And of course, the hot bath just there with the natural wall I spoke about before. Let's continue. All right, that was 445 square meters, two bedrooms, office, living room area, garage that we have explored together. I would take the elevator, but I think it's nicer to maybe talk about the staircase once again. Yeah, you can take the elevator down. Exactly, I'll be taking it down. I love this home for many reasons. Number one, the size. It sits super heavily on the 2,000 or over 2,600 square meters of plot. The style and design is throughout. You've got so many elements to talk about. This staircase leading up, the picture windows above, this designer French company chandelier, eight meters in length, fills the space with beauty and elegance. Wooden staircase, gonna illuminate it again. Smart home system, of course. And did I actually talk about the glass lighting windows that you can automatically open with the push of a button? Do it later. Did I speak about it? I'll do it later. Damn, I'm spoiling it for later. Later, we're also gonna be showing you the, the basement, so stay tuned. And let's explore three further bedrooms on the first floor. Now let's go to the west wing, exclusively reserved for the main bedroom. Just quickly wanna point out more cupboards just there and here is the bridge that divides east with west and from here we also get to see the stunning chandelier with the play of black and white stripes the granite which has been power treated with a water laser to give it this rippled effect the lighting system the open view that you also enjoy from the left and the right wow and this ladies and gentlemen is the door to the kingdom of the main bedroom. That even sounded quite poetic from my standards. The style and design and the effort they went through to make everything look as grand as it does is mind-blowing. Let's take this divisional wall that divides this room with the walk-in closet. Is a piece of art itself. We've got backdropped, I think a compass and wavy featured paintings. Would you say it's a compass by the way? It's a map. It's a map with coordinates and depths and depths. Indirect lighting, just this bedside table itself is gorgeous. You got obviously the drawer just there and the same natural stone as the foundation as we find cladded on this side here with the fire just underneath TV setup, open shelving, indirect lighting. It's the same stone as I said. We also have a mini fridge here in case you get thirsty. The pillows on the bed are color coordinated with the painting on the backdrop of the divisional wall. We also have a circular couch here to come chill on. And the carpet is shaped to actually house such a couch, couch within it. Cows? Couch? Couch within it. And best of all, just got a moment to sit here. We have glass front from left to right also angled. So this entire area, nearly 180 degrees is glassed, giving you a gorgeous view to Africa, Gibraltar, the sea, the mountains, the greenery, and the beautiful scenery unfolding. All right, let's continue. We have the bathroom here, a two sink vanity setup with this very royal and elegant looking natural stone. Of course, the extra taps and fittings that continue. We have the mirror set up with the indirect lighting right behind it. Nice lamp dangling down. And also these drawers just there with the same stone. Gorgeous. Now, Patrick, let's turn the camera around because right here we have the walk-in closet, which is another example of the effort they went in to create everything as it is. Why? 
Right above, purposely built, is a skylight that illuminates the place you get dressed in the morning. You've got this entire console for your socks, for your watches, for whatever you need. Here, this is something that I actually love about it. They're closed in, right? How often, Patrick, do we see walk-in closets that have open cupboards and yeah, drawers? Actually, yeah, but it's also a room. Here, it is uh, like a walkthrough. Yeah, but but I, yeah, it gets dusty, I agree. It gets dusty and this is just clever and we also have laid out here entirely a nice carpet and this makeup area here with, if I'm not mistaken, Armani Casa stone. I might be wrong, but I might be right. Either way, gorgeous stone here and drawers also with the same natural stone. Pretty cool. <sighs> this even wallpaper feature it's gorgeous i mean this is such a big space if you think about it and it continues because at this point you might be wondering where's the shower and it's right there and let's have a look at it once again illuminated space antonio lupi bathtub axor tap and fittings here and a lot of natural light that floods this room and at night you've got the indirect lighting you've got the backlit and illuminated onyx stone book match this is just so beautiful and there's quite a few of these onyx stones throughout the house that we will see here we have the toilet and bidet not going into detail on that but there we have the shower which you will also see in the detail shot it feels like a cave that you can go shower with the massive axe or shower head raining down on you and yes this is armani bronze from madrid from a company and you're going to be seeing that in the detail shot with a little close-up giving this entire area more of a unique feel wouldn't you say patrick unique the whole house is unique yeah but it kind of makes it royal like this stone just looks rich i like the little bathtubs that we have seen pre previously which are seated on the countertop. Ah, oh, okay, so you say it looks like a tiny little bathra, bathtub on the vanity. Yeah, you can, oh, on the vanity, exactly. You can bathe yes. a child in it. That's, That's what I mean. we always joked about. Okay, I get it. Just personal Fair preference. Enough. Fair enough. But I don't think they would have fitted into the style and design of this house. It fits everywhere. <laughs> right, let's continue, guys. Let us know in the comment section below what you think of the first main bedroom on this level. Let's go. Now, when we came here with a helicopter and we saw this home in the private exclusive and closed in urbanization, we really saw the dimensions of it. It looks fur dinkum. It sits on top of the hill like the king guarding all the people below, but it looks big. Now, what I'm really happy about is that every space in this house is utilized, it's compartmentalized. There are no empty volumes. Everything has sense, everything has purpose and everything is styled out this entire passageway leads us to the east side this is the elevator landing for 10 people the flooring is also of natural stone just here we have a storage room not going to show it and bedroom number two on this floor as i said east side has two bedrooms let's have a look at it once again the style and design is throughout different color scheme and this one nice lighting here as well present the bed framing in this bluish color of course, the wooden panel to disrupt the flow. Big glass sliding doors here. View is exceptional. And of course, an ensuite bathroom with a bathtub and the same natural stone laid out. Perfect, let's continue. Goss, we still have a very disturbing painting because when I look at it, I start spinning in the head. Do you, Patrick? Because is it just me? Yes. How does it look on the camera? It must look Amazing. really weird. No, it's just circles. I love it, but it's kind of mesmerizing, hypnotizing. Now, this is the intermediate room between bedroom number two and three, and it's your kind of TV lounge chill out area. Love the rainbow color wallpaper feature just here. Of course, big L-shaped couch there and another one there, coffee table. The same Italian brand carpet laid out, TV setup, and nicely framed in. I love this. This TV is framed in the black, trim indirect lighting behind it wallpaper and this floating desk gorgeous yeah it really feels like this corner of the house could be the corner for the children 100 so the parents are on one side 
the children here and then they can you know just chill and relax I mean, yeah this is already a beautiful cinema room i'll take it any day but the real cinema room is in the lowest level it's absolutely bonkers let's cover this bedroom before we go there so another stylish bedroom i love when all the bedrooms and every inch of the house is styled out this one i particularly like more than the one we have seen second on this level because of the backdrop here it's just a very nice play you've got the wooden rippling just there, the black elements the division the with the trim the wallpaper the bed framing this miniature edition of the chandelier in the entrance hallway patrick have you Little realized bit, maybe no it's the kind of the same style and design the floating bedside table here we have the bathroom which you can see is the same the natural stone one sink vanity oxford taps and fittings from hans und Grohe, toilet and shower just there super sums it up window as well so you can open it up in case of need be and a little terraces as well from for the two bedrooms we have just seen and sea views from every bedroom patrick's going to make sure that you get to see the sea from every bedroom as i said it's going to make that happen we also have a walk-in closet just here and once again patrick in the reflection of the mirror great that sums it up we have seen two bedrooms one main one the inter media room with the tv and now i would say let's take the lift and show you an incredible basement full of goodies 274 square meters on this level three bedrooms that we have seen we're gonna say goodbye to all of that take the elevator down to the lowest level and show you some extremely interesting things see you downstairs Basement, lower level, let's call it lower level, 555 square meters. The entire elevator outer facade has been covered with this material. Have you touched it before, Patrick? Yes, it's suede. It's, it's so nice. And that's why I'm, I keep saying it, but like who goes and does that, right? We've never seen this before. Now we wanted to keep this for the last, but Patrick insisted to kind of keep the flow of the house to show you things as they appear so well, this is one of the sweetest games room man cave cinema rooms that we have seen let's look at it now before we begin server room just wanted to point that out this is the most trippy mirror i've experienced in my life i don't know if you get to see the effect here put your face in there but if i put my face in there it just like it puts me in a three-dimensional perception of myself and when I move further, it flips me upside down. Can you, do you see that? Whoa. No. Like a normal Free. mirror. No, just so the camera Free. doesn't pick it up. So it is trippy, right? Yeah, a little bit. I was staring at that mirror at myself, which I never do, because it's really weird to look at yourself in the mirror for a long time. And yeah, I kind of had a spiritual experience. Now, check this out. A six meter long Italian made custom carpet, stools, glass, coffee table. This is your TV room, TV setup in all its glory with the tinted mirrors backdropped here, the floating shelf, and this beauty of a billiard table with mahogany skirting. Apparently it weighs over a ton if i'm not mistaken this is crazy and billy ardi cirillo is the italian company that have created this beauty and it is a designer piece itself and more designer elements looks a little bit like pac-man on the what looks like pac-man yeah kind of like it's from, eating from it. here you cannot see the the white part so much pac-man would eat this Anyways, a stunning room and you get to see the onyx here as well. It's the same backlit onyx as we have in the bar area, just there with the open sh shelving, the alcohol, the indirect lighting, the bar stool. And also here, the same 
onyx at the bar kitchen island set up here gorgeous space now you have to break the balls i do not dare to break it I, I don't think the balls have ever been broken. But wait, before we break them, what is behind this door? It's just the bathroom. Let's have a quick look just to show it to everyone. It has dimmed light to, you know, be equal to the mood of a bar. Dimmed light, people chatting discreetly. So the lighting here is more dimmed. Pretty neat. Now, guys, that is it with this area. Uh, do we really want to break it? Should yeah, I break it? it? I break it for you. Oh, Patrick will break it. All right, this is the man. Because Tommy was afraid. Well, I was told by the owner not to touch the pool table, which cost more than our an earnings. car. But hey, Patrick is a rule breaker. Someone has to be. So, Patrick, what's going to happen if you do not get what in? In the next property tour, I will go and swim. Full closed, I get to push you in. No. Make it. Okay, but no one wants to see that. No, we just blur out the good parts. And you ready? Yeah. Our, oh, oh, wow. Wow. Several. All right. Show us what you got in. Got a white one in. It's a bowl still. Okay, that's a failure. You lost. That's uh, it. You no, don't no, need to no, show here. the rest. And then I have. Patrick, here. you got the white one in. And another one here. That's it. You're finished business. People so. are going to unsubscribe. You have to be thrown into the pool. Let us know what you think, guys. Is that true? Getting the white one in? That's it. No, we said to get a bowl in. Yeah, Any but not color. the white one. Come it on. Was about... All right. I'll let that one slip. So we're now, leaving now? We leave. But before we leave, I promised the ultimative super duper ultimative 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 no, ultimative ultimate ultimate what did i say ultimative ultimative i'm the not ultimate made. you promised the ultimate I cinema promised room an incredible and it is right behind room. you behind the pocket door so let's present the ultimate cinema room thank you patrick thank let's you let's do that yeah padded walls lacquered wood sound isolated 16 plus speakers, 4.8 meter long screen. 16 people can be seated here, super comfortable. You can also put your phone to charge your cup holders. This is suede, incredible. The size of this is insane. And during the process of this creation of the home, they actually dug more space into the earth to create this extension. They wanted stairs going down to your private cinema room to give it all this captivating and space. This lushness and size. of space. Yeah, look, and you have Dolby surround speakers as well, inbuilt, two in the back, four on the side, and of course in the front as well. And the experience to watch a movie here is mind blowing carpet laid out sound isolated this private cinema is probably one of the best we have ever seen shout hello no i'm gonna shout in the mic wait, wait. it's not gonna uh, work I will do it. hello no it's quite good man do it again hello i barely hear you patrick all right <laughs> but have you touched the material of the couches here you know, I, I'm not Silky so smooth. of a toucher. Oh, I love it. Wow. That, my dear friends, is a proper cinema room. If you agree, make sure to let us know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to give us thumbs up of, in the video. Make sure to continue watching our videos. And make sure to unsubscribe if you don't like us. Let's be honest. We only want people who like us. Okay. That also kind of works. All right. Because <laughs> oh, uh, everyone is always talking about subscribe, subscribe. But you're very right. Let's be, let's be real. If you don't like us, well, I, if it's they better don't like that us, you. I don't think they have subscribed at first. Oh, I have really subscribed to many ones. Just another storage room, empty, and here the same polstered wall as we have seen in the cinema room. So it's already kind of giving you the indication of hey, follow me, 
follow the posted wall into the most stunning cinema room we have ever seen. So that's what you do? Follow posted yeah. walls? Oh, what's what's happening here? Oh, look at that. Oh. And then 20 hours later and the entire series of Breaking Bad, you come crawling out of that. You have a bar, you have a fridge, you have sinks, you have a pool table, you have friends. You could literally live in this area. Yes, you could uh, just That's lose, lose the, the touch for time. Yeah, exactly, because this, this has no windows. Yeah, it's like a casino. It's quiet. It's the only icy. thing they need to do is like pump in some uh, oxygen in here and you just... I think this entire house has the aircon system that reventilates the house automatically. And of course, there's also underfloor heating throughout. All of the standards are present. Bookshelf here, nice indirect lighting as well. And let's have a quick look into this section, which is just your sort of entry foyer into the spa where you wash your hands. You've got changing room, changing room and toilet. Toilet just You here. have been here before, not only? No, of course. But I was wondering whether to call this a changing room because it does look quite random. But yeah, you're right. It's a changing room. But yeah, look at this beautiful one sink vanity setup here. It's just for you to wash your hands. You've got natural stone backdrop. You've got the extended wooden shelf here. This solid looking sink. Axor taps and fittings and you know, this kind of... Let's, let's not be racist, all right? This isn't racist, this kind of lamps. Cool. And this is your private swimming pool. Let's go. 10.6 by 4.2. Those are the measurements of your indoor swimming pool, which you have just there. Of course, it's also heated. Of course, it also has a continuous stunning piece of Onyx right there, backdrop, partially book matched from Novo Stone in Madrid, a very famous company providing just the best pieces of stone. This entire shelf to expose vases just adds elegance to it. And again, no echo. And Thanks again, no to echo. The ceiling. Yeah, you got the slats right above. They probably absorb all the sound. Ventilation, installation is present. And what a gorgeous space. Continuing the gorgeous space, what cannot be missing, ladies and gentlemen, is a hammam, which you have here. For those who like hammams, thumbs up. For those who don't like hammams, there's thumbs an down. alternative. No, no <laughs> thumbs down, an alternative, Patrick. And the alternative in this case would be the sauna, which is at the far end here. And just check out the size of it. Yes, this is a big house, so you would expect the sauna to be big, but you can literally lie here Four people can lie on the lower bench and then another wait, 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 six wait, wait, wait. can sit. Four people can lie down on the lower bench? Yes, 100%. Two next to each other until here and then two there. So, so you're the first leg. person I know who really likes to snuck in a ton of, in a sound. I'm talking in hypothetical case scenarios. Possibility is existent. Yeah, let's rather snuggle. Than, rather than you should, because that would be very weird. Very weird. Anyway, sauna is there. I love it. Great space. Showers. And of course, yeah, well said, showers, the natural stone backdrop once again, Axor edition, taps and fittings, stealth looking, hangers for your wardrobe. Here you've got three very cozy sunbeds to come and relax after you've just been in a hammam or the sauna. And best of all, another working compartment here. Of course, there is an ice maker. Of course, there is a second ice maker. Because God forbid you make yourself a nice cocktail and you have to go all the way up to get ice. You've got a fridge here. And... A cupboard. Cupboard. <laughs> and a cupboard. So yeah, cool. And that space is in your own home. Can't believe it. Let's continue. We have seen an amazing cinema room bar area. We've seen an amazing indoor swimming pool with your amenities such as the sauna and the hammam. So give us thumbs up if you appreciate those rooms. Now this is the staircase and the 
designer French company chandelier which measures eight meters so basically from the ceiling on the top of the first floor where we saw the three the bedrooms designer 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 it's design h-e-u-r and my French friend Olivier said you spell it designer yeah, all in one it's like uh, like tag so yeah, but it's, it's a play of words yes yes because it's designer and it's design and er. Yeah, so he's a designer, a designer. Anyways, it's eight meters long. It's a beautiful design piece. And it dangling down designer. nearly all the way here. We got another landing just at the staircase. Drink a little wine, watch someone swim. In case you swim. got tired, right? Yeah, in case you get tired or you want to watch someone swim in the swimming pool, you got a very thick glass separation here. And just the onyx stone backlit is gorgeous. Now, we also have a wine cooler here. Good news, the wine comes with the house and he's actually got some very good selections here, the developer. I was gifted this one, Hacienda Monasterio, which is a Ribera del Duero, and it was one of the best wines I've ever drunk in my 25 we years. Should, we should get shares now from the company. Yeah, the region Ribera del Duero should be giving us some money for always naming their wines to be the best. Let's go. All right, last bedroom on this side of the corridor, just here, making it the sixth bedroom that we have shown you so far. Now, remember, we are in the lowest level. Some people would call it a basement, but we actually have natural light flooding the room here. And look at the ceiling height. I'm 183. This is at least three meters in ceiling height. Yes. The style and design is continuous, very nice light fixtures dangling down, wooden panels dividing the wall space, wallpaper in direct lighting, the color coding of the cushions go well with the paintings there. Ottoman, another great painting just here. Carpet laid out, more space there. But come here, do you know this is actually a TV? Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. It's pretty neat. It's also a massive mirror. It is. It's kind of, you know, putting in front of a bed. I don't know if that works well. Anyways, if you want to watch a movie, it does indeed. And of course, you also have the access point out to a little terrace and a staircase that leads you to the swimming pool. Here, quick glance, glance, glimpse, quick glimpse into the ensuite bathroom. Humongous mirror setup, by the way. Kind of fills the entire space. One thing, vanity, shower, same backdrop natural stone is on the vanity and on the floor and a toilet pocket doors and that's it and i don't want to be repetitive but again no echo thanks to the clats at the top there yeah it could echo pretty well here wouldn't it yeah it's just stone sound. and everything yeah. is and the volume is there for echo to exist pretty well all right next room to discover let's go now the wellness from the swimming pool and the hammam and sauna doesn't end because here we also have a massage room. Let's continue to this space here with basically everything you need. You have your free weight section machine there, free weights more there, a rowing machine, a stepper, a bicycle, more free weights and another bicycle setup there. Nice big mirror setup on the wall as well. You know, you always want to look at yourself when you... But yeah, pretty solid. I'd probably put a, a bench press in here as well, but the space is present for you to do that. Now, before we leave this space, we have the laundry there and another two bedrooms. I would like to show you a very impressive utility room, machinery room. It's like one of the biggest and nicest ones we've ever seen. So let's do that instantly. And it's right here. Let's have a quick look, guys. I'm excited about these kind of things. Ta-da! Dominic, this cannot be all for a house that size. <laughs> it's just a small baby room of what's to come because here is the real machinery room. Let's go. You know what I mean? I even have to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stairs down to it. Obviously, for a lot of water reserve, the swimming pool, cleaning pumps, underfloor heating. Look at all the piping here labeled nice and blue and it continues inwards there as well but 
Patrick, wait, maybe you want to get the depth of it from this angle. You get it from there? It's huge. This is probably as big as the Walter White <laughs> clinic under Earth. Remember? Can I? No, don't. Who knows what it's for? Let's switch the two to zero. And and the zero to one. Click click. <laughs> no, thank you. Let's continue. Have you seen Red October? That's exactly why I don't want to do it. Bye bye. Leave me. I, I just bye, do some needle shots down here. Okay. Could literally make an underground bunker or house in that space. That's how big it is. Now we have one more room and a guest apartment to show you before we head up and show you the garden area. So let's go. Of course, you close the space down. Let me just show you what I mean. Because this entire area is kind of like the working area. What do I mean with that? Let's step in here. This would be the Modul Nova custom made laundry room as well. Super elegant, big in space. Oh, let me just open this one. Big in space. You've got two dryers, two washers, a sink, and a professional ironing machine. More cupboards for your pants and towels. Spacious and that super illuminated light that you get in the laundry rooms. And nicely positioned here. And that actually, wait, leads me to the third entry into the working space. The three entries into the main house, which is just there, but we're going to show it in a bit. That is another bedroom here, possibly for your working staff. A nice sized bedroom on the lowest level with its own one sink vanity, shower, and toilet just there. And a traditional door instead of a pocketing one. What? <laughs> so it has everything you need. This room is the smallest and it's the seventh one we have seen on the tour. Now, this is the door that I mentioned just two seconds ago, which is also one of the entry doors into the house. So staff can discreetly come down the stairs, enter here, sleep there, do the laundry and so forth. And oh my God, I forgot something really important. All the bedrooms, uh, the main one in particular, has a shaft where you can throw your dirty laundry and it lands here. It's pretty cool. Not to forget that the cardboard is right above us. To Correct. the kitchen. Correct. And that's... So you would come down these stairs and yeah, be right in your place of work. Yeah. And if you want to be more independent, let's say you have a maid who lives with you. Or mother-in-law. Let's be honest, Patrick, for a mother-in-law, this is actually too nice. <laughs> yeah, she can even kitchen, uh, like cook here. Yeah, this, stuff. this is a, the independent apartment studio. Like Patrick said, you have a full functioning kitchen just here with fridge, induction oven and so forth, a little desk, bed, and a separate entrance and exit through Even a little the garden. glass sliding doors here, a little garden, which also connects to the bigger garden with stairs and so forth. So you're very well positioned here. Now to kind of finalize the space, there's obviously cupboards to the left. And just here you have your bath, one sink vanity and the toilet just there. Now let's go upstairs to the, the garden terrace. area. Let's do it. You coming? Yep. Let's do it. As promised, uh, these big sliding glass windows open up fully with a push of a button. So let's enjoy it. Nicely covered and shaded thanks to the extremely long cantilevered roof line that we have here as i said we have these overlapping concrete slabs this one actually extending out we've got your couch area just there to come and relax the bedrooms are at the far end as you have seen a nice little fire pit a swinging lounge bed another lounge bed there this would be your garden area of which you don't really have much green but it's actually sufficient because it's nicely distributed. More art, 
dangling down from the cantilever, which is quite epic. And yeah, just an amazing space. And you get to see that the glass sliding windows have now fully opened up, giving you this nice merge between indoor and outdoor. Various art pieces are also throughout here. And this home comes as it is. So you literally can buy it except of a few tiny little things. And the pool area just looking so inviting. Literally, you just want to jump in and enjoy your afternoon. So ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end. We have toured an exceptionally gorgeous home. Diego Tobal was the architect. We have modern lines, cantilevered roof lines. The design is throughout. If you enjoyed everything that we have shown you, make sure to give us a thumbs up, let us know in the comments, share this with video with all your friends, literally everyone you know. And if you want to buy it, the contact details of the person in charge are listed in today's description box. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Dominic. Patrick is behind the camera. Do you want to say a little goodbye today? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Let me hold the camera. Yeah, yeah. go, hold it. No, no, I hold it. No, go ah. and hold it. Like this? All right. Thank you very much for enjoying this property tour with us. Well, like and subscribe. Know if they enjoyed it. Uh, they would not have watched it till the end, right? Hey, touche. <laughs> so you guys stayed through the whole tour. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. There will be much more to come in the future. And yes, thank you. Oh, what a day.